<laughs> okay, then we're recording. We can go. All right. So, sadly, nobody helped out anybody yesterday, and it is a new day. <laughs> Give me my long rest. I'm going to need my spells to enact an escape, I think. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, we'll end up Tyus later. But Loras, you wake up. Uh, you see mugs everywhere around you. You see several other people nearby. They're holding his stuff. There's going to be a slaughter in a second. Where's my stuff? Nope. They're going to be unconscious. And while a couple of them are missing some things, you're not missing anything. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stand up. Notice my head is pounding and look for water. Lots of water. Just don't ask Dias. Look around. Look look around. Fuck. What the fuck happened? You realize you're in a field. Shit. Now I have to bring these guys back somehow. Because I can't just leave them here to die. Combine harvester is coming, Jackal. What do you do? <laughs> uh. You don't remember why you're in a field or what the fuck happened. But apparently you guys had a fucking party and brought it outside the city. Okay, then, uh, I guess I'll just have to dimension door everything. How many people are there? You got, like, a good dozen. Oof. The, That's the, going to take a while. Just kick them awake and make them walk. You're the most deadly thing in a mile radius. <laughs> uh, is there, like, a stream or something nearby? I'll look around you we can find a small little there's a little area where there's some water in it it's an agricultural cultural drainage pipe jack lord don't do it yeah i'll ignore that part <laughs> epic lives on a farm you can t <laughs> you, you, you can fucking guess where this is going yeah i'm just going to ignore the water and i'm just going to start kicking people awake Nudging them with my feet. Slowly you start getting the others awake. All of them have a real fucking pounding headache. Two of them don't seem to wake up. <laughs> okay. We've got three options. Either I leave you all here to die. That's one. I drag you all myself. That's two. Or we all walk, but somebody carries the unconscious people. Well, you might have to get up. Oh, is that water? Don't drink it. It's agricultural drainage pipe or whatever it's called. Fucker! <laughs> Just copying what he told you out of character. <laughs> I will punish thee for this transgression. <laughs> I mean, I have 14 intelligence. I didn't realize what that, what that Minus is. Minus one progress on the wish quest. You're closer to death, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> you get to avoid this little bit, but in exchange, your wish progression decreases. <laughs> Fair enough. Understandable. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, going on. I'm Slowly dead. everyone starts getting up. They start trying to help each other. They just start dragging the two people. Yes, yes. Move it forward. Oh god, my head. <laughs> you want to help? I really should stop. Walker's I really heavy. Should stop. You guys know the direction, right? Uh, um, weren't you leading us in the right direction? Shit. 
Uh, test this out. I'll activate uh, Tell Flight and start flying up into the air straight up. See if I can get a good vision on the city. Yep, you fly way up and you find that you're a good like 15 kilometers away from the city. <sighs> okay. Off to the east. Jack Lord, I know what happened. You came to show them where we defeated the fat fuck and then you just kept going after looking at the ruins for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Made a fair yeah. distance, apparently, for a drunk crowd. Who were people you lost along the way? Oof. <laughs> I'm going to head down again, and, and then when I reach the ground, I'm going to dispel fell flight. Okay, uh, it's that way. I point in the general direction of the of the city. Sweet, thanks. Let's move it. Fine. Not to raise my voice so I don't make, cause my headache to flare. Start walking through. And you do find various kinds of vegetables and such along the way. It seems like you made a decent path through them. Oh my god, you were trying to show them how to live I mean... off the land. Those poor farmers! <laughs> <laughs> You do manage to find a campfire about like two kilometers towards the city. It's just going out. <laughs> There's lots of vegetables in it for some reason. Okay. Can I actually uh, can I build full afternoons of vegetable? Is that thing alive and does it immune or is it dead? I, I, I think it was it... in the fire, so it's not alive anymore. That would be correct. It is no longer alive. I could try a, a, a bill for rinsing a vegetable. Not the potatoes. You bail for water and one of those things. It explodes. Ketchup. <laughs> ha! I always wanted to test that out. Yes, as it, it does not have any kind of thinking to it or anything, you can bail for it. Cool. Could he bail for Lutra into a tree to turn it into a shrapnel bomb? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Well then. <clears throat> There's no cart or anything here. You could just leave these fuckers and fly back to the city. I'm just saying. No. While if you're... he did that, he wouldn't get the twist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were angry mob running after me. I... I, how could I leave them here? You don't just leave an angry mob here. <laughs> you slowly lead the people back towards the city. Uh, eventually, you do actually see that it looks like you guys apparently passed by a maze of corn. Or rather, rows of corn. And apparently, you went right through a good portion. Ooh, that's, that, that's going to ruin some farmer's day. <laughs> You know, I I think I understand why Jack Lore is doing this, and it is the most fucking classist thing ever. I think he's one of those nobles that thinks that a peasant's natural state, at least in plural, is mob. So, he's keeping an eye on them. <laughs> well, yes, this is factually correct. <laughs> God damn it. But yes, you eventually start leading them off to where they pull doing jobs. <laughs> However, as you see it closer, the two that are unconscious are still unconscious. I'll perform heal checks on them, I guess. Jeez, Jody, you need to wake up. Oh, Bender, sure, but... Is he alive? 
Yeah, there's no pulse, Jim. F. The other guy? Shit. Jane's dead, too. <laughs> so how much is it for race dead? <laughs> You're gonna raise the dead? <laughs> well, I mean, I can't just leave people dying here. They're peasants, jackal or get over it. <laughs> okay, well, it costs a total of 5,000 gold for the material component and someone to do the casting and stuff, it'll be a lot more. Well, shit, I don't actually afford that. Fuck it, let's do it for dead. Okay. What did you do, Jackalore? Is Sky Mom gonna be sad? I mean, I'm going to give them a proper burial, of course. Take them to the grumpy priest. Do it. <laughs> I don't have consecration. And... Yes, take them to the grumpy priest. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, we're going to grab the body. <clears throat> We're going to have to grab the bodies, they're pretty dead, but we'll have to give them a proper burial. I'm willing to pay for the funeral costs. <laughs> okay. They'll follow you. You are left in them alone. They are very grateful they didn't have to try and get way back into the city by themselves. They may have died. <laughs> Under the baking sun with dehydration. Slowly getting worse. He won't let them drink from the streams. slash slaves for the plantation owner. Either way. <laughs> oh my fucking god, you're Spartacus. You led the slave revolt. <laughs> and now... <laughs> and got drunk to celebrate your newfound freedom. <laughs> Hello fellow slaves, I am one of you. Yes, let us escape our shackles. <laughs> You'll bring them all up, and eventually you'll get back to the one guy. The one guy I'm seriously considering of making a truly official sheet. Did I make an official sheet for this fuck? I think I may have. I did not, so never mind that. Does my water skin have any water in it? Uh, nope, nothing. Fuck. I really want to drink. Something non alcoholic. That isn't bath water. Yes, this isn't bath water. That's a very good that's a very good crit criteria you have. Yeah, uh, it needs to not be bath water, it can't be an irrigation line. Ugh jeez, you have so many requests for water, dude. Okay, let's see. So this fucker was called. Uh -oh. That's right. Here he is. Nai Al Shak. That's what he was. He's the slaver. He's the cleric, motherfucker. <laughs> Why is there? Oh, you mean uh, grumpy dude? Yeah. So eventually you bring the bodies over. Presumably to Al Shock. And he goes, Hello? You look familiar. <laughs> what you want? <laughs> you could hear his soul dying. That was well played. I would like to uh, pay for the funeral arrangements of these two poor people, who who seem to have died while I was while under my care. Mm hmm. <sighs> Never admit guilt. They don't know your house. They don't know your proper noble. Hundred gold, please. I hand him hundred gold. He leans down, 
Starts dragging the bodies inside. Uh, send my condolences if you find them. Mm-hmm, sure. You do have Consecrate uh, as a prepared, right? Uh, no, you're just insulting him. <laughs> okay, have a nice day. He, draw, he brings him to the back. Have a nice day. Hopefully we won't meet again. Mm-hmm. At least under such circumstances. We need to buy a charm person scroll and take him drinking with us. <laughs> <laughs> I think he As you head out, you know that, that uh, there's a plume of smoke going on out of, out of the building. Oh, he has a crematorium of his own! Bless! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> you what? I'm teleporting in there. <laughs> You're teleporting in there? To where I think the plume of smoke is originating from. Okay, you teleport right into the, the crematorium. <laughs> is there room enough to stand in there? Because he should just yes. bounce. Yes, there is. Because he... That's entire groups of bodies sometimes. Oof. <laughs> well, do you have fire resistance? I don't think you take fire resistance. No, I did not take fire resistance. Oh, ouch. Oh, fuck. I don't even know what the equivalent of that would be. It's... Guys, what's a reasonable amount of damage like, to be in there? Two or three D6 is just starting. In theory. That is true. He's only just getting them started. He just divested their clothes, threw them in there. Jackalor, if your uh, reaction is to teleport out, I'm going to be both proud of you and disappointed because the real answer is to acid blast the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> you take 21 damage. I'm almost max. Yes, indeed. I'd like to activate Fiendish Resilience. That's a free action, right? Uh, well, Fiendish Resilience. Double check what you're doing with that. As a free action, Cause... you can interstate last for two minutes. Fast healing. Oh, you're just healing. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm activating what? the free action, and then I would like to activate uh, Elbridge Blast for <laughs> Vitriolic Blast. <laughs> Why do you like this? I know I encouraged you, but why do you like this? We had a attack last night about not doing this. Oh no, this is gonna go bad real fast. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not going to go particularly bad for the guy outside, let me tell you that. <laughs> Goodbye, Jackalore. So you're saying the, the acid will explode? Uh, it will go right into that door and it will melt it. That's fine. Can I make an intelligence check to make sure uh, to realize this is a bad idea or not? That's up to uh, that's up to you. That sounds more like a wisdom to not antagonize the priest of death. That would be the more accurate thing. You're about to blow the priest of death's fucking door down. <laughs> He's about to flame strike whoever the fuck did that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see more of a flame strike, right? Right? It's like four d six or eight d six. I wish it was that little. <laughs> Jackalore, it's your choice. I don't want to die. <laughs> you say that, but you knew what was happening in there, and you still teleported in there. <laughs> I was thinking, like, not directly into the place where the smoke was originating from. Well, the smoke is just on one end of it, so that it keeps all the heat inside. I knew what you were saying. It's just that it's an entire room, more or less, to heat up the, I everything and slowly get it all out. I hate to say this, Jackalore, but 
It's a level 5 cleric spell. Oh, oh, God. I mean, he might be smart enough not to do it because it's a cylinder that goes 40 feet high, so he might take his own roof off if he does it in here, but... No, his roof is meant to take it. He does it just in case the undead rise in there. He's level correct spell, that's like... Wait, what? Is he like a 12th level? 10th? That's about right, he's 12. He's com He was comparable to us like a level up ago. So you can... You can potentially eat him, but clerics get uh, D8s for their hit dice, I think, so... Good luck. I, sadly, I don't have his thing set up immediately, but I have a way to more or less uh, <laughs> I know what deal with that. Him, so. but that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, that was amazing and hilarious. But go ahead, blow down his door. Do it. <laughs> I don't want to get died. <laughs> that, that was that was the greatest mistake I've ever seen happen so quickly. <laughs> I mean, it's reflex for half. You might be okay. I'm so fucked. Oh, let's do it. What's your total HP? You should be okay. I have 81 total HP. 22 wounds, so that's 61 HP. Or, no, 59 HP. You should be okay. Also, I have my, all my charges left for my healing belt as well, so... You won't get a chance uh, to it's, use it. It's just amazing how this ended up going down. <laughs> I just know what his initial reaction is going to be. He's going to think the undead rose up and blew off his door. He's flame striking the fucks. We brought him angels of fucking decay. Of course he's paranoid. He should be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's not even going to do anything else. He's just immediately flame striking it. You'd never know, motherfuckers. <laughs> Actually, uh, I can quicken spell. But so I can use the swift action to blast the door. Sure. That's fine. You use your quick action to blast the door. That would mean I could see that he's there when it, when it goes off. Do I mean at that point you're just an initiative? Because he's yeah. going to attack on his turn. He's not paying attention to what's going on in there. He's doing his very first reaction. Flame strike. Okay. The wall to the or the door to the crematorium explodes into droplets of molten metal, Jackalore. You see a figure wreathed in fire and smoke with hand outstretched in your general direction. What do? <laughs> Cast heaviest damage spell immediately, please. Uh, Technically well, has harm, but that requires touching, so no. And harm is also like this has a Radiant component and might be better against undead, I think. Yep, no, it is. It is divine and fire mixed damage. Yeah, so half it's fire, pretty half great. Divine. It's pretty, Just pretty make, fucking dope. Make your rolls, Jackalore. We're gonna remember you fondly. Uh, uh, I need to find. Is it too late to just it's okay. Into... I don't have a sheet particularly ready for him, but I do have a thing set up where I can deal with that. So. Uh, if you don't mind if we just keep note of who has who and not do it on the normal combat tracker. Sure. Here's his initiative. Uh, can I activate uh, Devil's Favor for initiative? No. Okay. Good luck, Jackalore. You got it. So yeah, quick action to... I'll just blast the door open with acid. See if you deal enough damage first. Uh, yeah, you should see if you do enough damage. It's, a... it's like a cast iron door, I expect, or something yep, like that. It is. Uh, do I have to roll the touch or just the damage? Uh, you do need to roll your damage, particularly. Goodbye, uh, Dias. Hello. <laughs> oh no. 
Is it oh, one off? Go. That wasn't enough. To, to be fair, though, he was targeting me, so he should probably re-roll. That was a pretty good roll anyway, so... I know, but technically... Yeah, I didn't realize this, but his Iron Door has 60 hit points even without the hardness. <laughs> you can't fucking beat that, Jackalor. Goodbye, Jackalor. I can't kill that. I think that he should uh, Dimension Door out. I mean, can I Dimension Door out? Uh, Actually... While you're doing this, you are taking continuous damage at the moment. Fuck! Uh, I actually need you to roll your concentration. Uh, I almost forgot. He went on a quick one spell? Yeah, because his stuff is spell like abilities. Which literally means he's basically casting spells just at will. Jackalor, I have a question for you. Why did you panic when you saw the smoke? Because I he's got thinking things through and thought he was just burning the bodies in the backyard. I thought that your god uh, did it to bury the bodies instead of cremating them. He's been cremating What's everything funny is, we brought to him. When I do believe I actually did state initially when Saskar went to this guy. That he was known very well for following through with Shelzar's tradition of cremating people. I wasn't there for my character, at least, so. <laughs> I mean, uh, so, even out of character, just... this shouldn't have been unexpected at all. <laughs> even if he burns in the backyard? I mean, what's the problem with Okay, it? you He's don't understand it. He's an elven noble. They bury people in a cloth sack and plant a tree over them. To him, this is sacrilege, yeah. okay? This means Fucking you right. actually failed to even do your your quick cast, so... Well, I'm going to teleport out then. And you'll have to make another one. I'm going to take Devil's Favor for this one, if that works. Sure, that one works. Does it on any checks or saves, so... Oof. I think he uh, is... Was still not enough. Wait. You, you need to re-roll the damage, because it's partially dependent on that, isn't it? It no. is dependent on that point of fact. It's half of the continuous damage last dealt. But yeah, but this is a new round, so he takes another set of continuous damage. I was presuming this was all happening in the same round he went in there. Ah. His... So he has to do a total of 24. 10 plus half of continuous damage dealt. Yep. And he took 21, so he actually 29. got it. 29. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was I looking at the wrong one? 21. Yeah, 21. 21. Never mind. Let me double check. He should actually be good, I think, on the yeah. second one. If it's rounded up, he okay. had a DC of 21. So you did not blast his door. He doesn't even know you were in there for a moment. <laughs> you teleport back out. <laughs> You're that still on fire, but... Uh, it's a reflex save to put myself out? Yep. Pat, pat, pat. I'll only take 1d6, but... I do need to roll that for your next round. You take, uh, two more fire damage. And I heal too, because... Yep. Millions. Oh, Go and Dangle actually save. forces a check, so webbing spellcasters is a good thing. Yes, it does. That's not enough, is it? No, no, you you should be good, I think. It's just ordinary fire, not magic yeah. bullshit. The only reason it was getting really intense in there is, well, he needs to burn them to ash. And then I started healing all my wounds because it lasts for two minutes. Yep. <laughs> that was an unexpected... <laughs> Yeah, it's DC 15, so you got it. Okay, I thought it was like 20. At least he was trying to be a good person while nearly causing a diplomatic incident. <laughs> <laughs> I almost... I almost killed him. 
Oh, I'm glad I looked up the Iron Door HP. <laughs> Not only that, I'm glad I remembered the concentration, because that worked out great, too. <laughs> That did still up your use your uh, quick cast per day. But... So I have two quick casts left, no? Yep. That's right. <laughs> uh, so you head back out. You're more charred than you once were. It goes away, though. Yep, it will. Although your clothes still smell of uh, burned flesh, but. Well, if you want to, if you don't want them to stink, you need to find other Tys and Zuskar and have them cleanse them with magic, but, oh no, they're nowhere to be found. I wonder who they are. Okay, so, did, uh, what do you do next, Loris, and then we'll switch off to somebody else? I'm going to head over to the nearest bathhouse, like a real fancy one that costs, like, proper gold, and I'm going to head over there and get myself clean. Okay. They gladly accept your gold, but they are initially a little wary. <laughs> For a moment, they, uh, they think someone's here to just, like, kill them, like some kind of demon or something, but... Well, do you have to pay double to the them to ask, not ask questions? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So how much is it? Uh, that'll be, like, ten gold. They usually kill like five. And this is how you started rumors about a devil assassin in the city while trying to avoid <laughs> embarrassment. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was amazing. Yes, yes, he came in here right after the job, smelling of burnt flesh and fire. <laughs> You didn't hear about any fires in the city or anything? Fuck, he must be amazing at his job. <laughs> he burned the evidence. <laughs> and no one noticed. Uh, I just want the shower, damn it. <laughs> you get your shower. Comes with all kinds of various oils and such. He said. Essential oils? Don't no. be disgusting. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll go to somebody else that's here. Um, I suppose it's a car then. A car, you wake up. What do you want to do? I mean... What's he doing? Oh yeah, spending all the money. <sighs> it's a sad day when Zaskar is the fiscally responsible one. It, it happened. I go to uh, Natalie. All right. Hey, Zaskar, what do you need? No, no, that's not. Um, she can't even tell us apart. Wow! Surprise! <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's it, it, racist. I'm, I'm the other cat, you know. Ah, oh, whoops! Sorry, I car. I mix up your f names all the damn time. I know our names are completely retarded for uh, non-cat people standard. <laughs> you yeah, rather I'm... easily insult your own people, but okay. Hmm. She doesn't like my parents that much. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Um... Natalie just gets a pitying look in her eyes. Oh, Did you need anything? The poor kitty. <laughs> He's an orphan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I spoke about uh, wanting some alchemy kit. And yes. I forgot about it. Yes, yes. So, your total come, came in to... You wanted extra lives... Four, right? Three? Yeah, extra lives. Don't want this one to burn again. 
Okay, and did you ever remove your glasses? What? Just making sure you didn't remove your gold here, right? No. Okay. So total comes to, uh, and you wanted a total of four lives. That's right, right? Yeah. Okay, that is one thousand two hundred. Hmm. That's a. Did we speak about our sponsor, Microsoft Calculator, today? Not yet. We were saving that till the end. Okay. Um, how much again? Uh, 1,200. Try to negotiate with big sad cat eyes, like chat's suggesting. Nah, I, I won't do that. He has his pride. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, thank you. So, um... Uh, Again, it's something that you made, so it's completely uh, broken how great it's made. Like, it's probably the best thing that I would ever find in my home world. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's you... awesome. Yeah, Thank you make you. some extremely... There are some very suspicious people here. You making incredible stuff out of nowhere. Dorn, that he's amazing, I think. Are they related? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Wait, I gotta keep these secrets to my grave. That's what I have to do. She's a dwarf, right? Yep. Tom's a dwarf. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he just... Stares at her for a while. She stares back. Are they similar? He's looking no. for a familial resemblance. Nah, no, you, you don't look like Dorn, so you aren't related to him, I think. I wouldn't think I would be either. I mean, if it was, would be worrying, some sort of super powerful dwarf clan that is. <laughs> Ruling the city on the shadows. Um, I've only been here just a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, so it's a grand master work, alchemic mode lab, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Hey, uh, you're interested in that stuff, right? Yeah, here, I do. I'll show you mine. Oh. Go to the back. I just follow her. She leads you into the back, where apparently there's a couple of... There's like six different forges over here, all made with different materials and different fires. And then she leads you into a side room, opens the door. Okay, come on. Starts leading you down a hallway, a suspiciously long hallway. Goodbye, a car. <laughs> and uh, this one. And he, while we were walking the suspiciously long, I would just ask her, um, there's actually a super secret uh, dwarf conspiracy and you are going to put me out. The fuck are you talking? No, I just want to show you my alchemy tip lab. This place is very suspiciously long. Don't worry about it, it's just magic. Of course it is. So uh, here we go. He opens the door, and inside is apparently where she keeps a whole bunch of different kinds of poisons and various alchemical substances of all types. Epic, we're not oh, gonna try and really rob awesome her. Lab. We're not stupid enough to try and rob her. We're not gonna try, okay? Uh, you can stop now. Faskar just looks at the lab. A single tear falls from his eye. Can I live with you now? I have a bit of a rent, but um, I, I'll think about it. Wait, wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Eh, I could use somebody to man the station, I suppose. Do you have any other kinds of duties you need keeping track of? I mean, I just do alchemy and stab things into silvers. Mm, I mean, I, weren't you also an assassin these days? I didn't take any contract with them. I just wanted to learn magic. Wait, 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 wait. How did she know? <laughs> hmm. uh, well. Razor uh, probably you know. told her. Uh, if they ever give me a job, I think I have to ask for them. I don't know. Uh, it will be only one thing they think. I prefer to spend my time doing alchemy. Oh, sweet. Alchemy is pretty cool. All right. I suppose I can see about uh, showing you some stuff. Let's see. Do... She starts showing you how to do stuff better, make stuff better, things of that nature. Basically, I'm giving you the way in which uh, you get to take on a feat, if you wish, leveling up soon. Okay. Which is called Master Alchemist. Oh. Yeah. Um, also, when learning from her, uh, Sask, uh, uh -huh. he's going to be sad. He's going to be very sad. Yeah, so... Uh, what you learned from this is apparently Natalie is good enough at making alchemy stuff that uh, it's about ten times faster than normal. <laughs> Not only that, when she her. makes it, uh, she makes a whole shit ton of doses at once. You know, you're hurting my, my pride. It was oh, the I was just best hoping thing. to help you out. No, you are helping. You, you're helping so much that it hurts. <laughs> Bacon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you a favor. Just one thing. You're okay. Don't go to the Assassin's Guild anytime soon. <laughs> yes, she did just teach him how to become the best poison maker in there. Oh. <laughs> uh. So, when you level up, you can now select that if you wish. Uh, the specific effects of it are... Let me make sure I share it. Uh, your C plus 2 to craft alchemy checks. You can create mundane alchemical items on Shikriki. While making motions, you can create a member dose equal to your intelligence modifier at time. They do not increase the time required, but they do increase the raw material cost. And when you use Craft Alchemy to make stuff, you use GP value instead of its SP value when determining progress. Okay, yeah. I don't think that she knows, but uh, I'm going to make a lot of drugs with this. <laughs> she uh, she has an idea, but she doesn't. You seem like actually a pretty decent guy. If shady. Yeah, yeah shady It's a good description. Yeah, uh, he he will hug her and say, this, this was the most beautiful thing that I ever saw in my life. Uh, give me a diplomacy check. Actually have diplomacy. 23 on the... Um... Oh... Thank you. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much. I I hope you have a great day. Same. I just uh, here. Stare. Just take this with you. Just take this with you. Be safe. I take my now shitty alchemical set compared to this room. I just leave. So with the uh, Grand Master work, I get a plus three or plus four? Plus four. Plus four. Okay. If I if she ever allows me to use her lab, it's a plus ten. Plus Something six. Like that, yeah. There's some automated processes going on in there and stuff. I mean, how much I need to make some retarded uh, stuff, like 
if if she give if that place is giving me a plus ten, I can get some forty on some good rolls. Sweet. Uh, while you're looking through, apparently she went and hurriedly stuffed some stuff in there. Uh, apparently it doesn't exist by default, so I'm gonna have to put it as. Well, that's okay. So you find some black lotus ex extract in there, about three doses worth. Black lotus extract? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know black lotus. Th this magic card costs like, I don't know, thirty bucks. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! All right, have fun going and killing some people with that. Jesus fuck! You're just gonna kill the entire city with that. It's just three doses. You can't kill the whole city. But... Bacon? Yes. That's yeah. like thirteen and a half thousand gold of poison. Okay, that's some good poison. Yeah, uh, I'm totally going to, in my free time, while we don't have a, I don't have a super lab myself. I'm just going to go to her place and just help her. I could try to steal it, but I won't do it. That's how you lose my... every limb you have to a golem, I think. Yeah, and she's nice. She's now the coolest person in the city for him, so he, he likes her. Yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Oh, she doesn't have anything particular that does that. I just so, like uh, how Bacon is becoming a master alchemist while Demi is drinking bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Each with their own priorities, I guess. And uh, I suppose I should. You do know this, and you notice what you know it immediately upon seeing it. This is like uh, super deadly bullshit. The initial damage is three d six con. Secondary damage is three d six con. Yeah, that kills a bitch. Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong side because this one just says that it's one d six, but it's once per round for six rounds. Which yeah, comes that's a different edition, I think. Uh, yeah, it ends up being 6d6 in the end. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I know I know that if I ever anchor Natalie, she just next magic item that she gives me, it's probably poisoned and I die. <laughs> <laughs> She wouldn't need to bother with the poisoning it. But okay. I am quite confident she can make cursed magic item. You pick it up. And you die. No one knows why. You just died. But yeah, <laughs> going on. Let's see. I'll put in the cost here too, I suppose. 4,500 deep. There you go. Enjoy more poison that you might never use. I mean, I have used poison. You poison the boss with that, and they'll instantly kill over dead. I mean, the boss that we are fighting are all dead, so. Nah, actually... there's more. Yeah, the bosses. I hear someone wants to go face a dragon. We don't want to face it. We're gonna assassinate it from ambush, like proper adventures. <laughs> <laughs> But there you go. You you made Natalie happy enough and pity you enough. She's like, you know, he needs he really needs some help. Just making sure he's okay here. Well, you're not the only one who doesn't like your parents that much, you know. I just don't <laughs> use it like that. It wasn't his objective. <laughs> That's all the more reason why she did it. 
her son's motive is pretty fucking good. So she could tell you weren't even trying to do anything with it. So. <laughs> yeah. That was a fruitful encounter. It just goes back to the inn. Go find the others. Only one you find is Loras at the moment. What's up, Loras? Wait, Loras you. wouldn't be. Oh, I had a yet. bender and. Tyus uh, is the one there, right? I think that killed some people. Tyus, uh, uh, De Demi's not back yet, so. I'm here. Oh, Demi, you're here! Okay, I didn't know. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Tyus, what do you do this morning? Uh. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I get up. So far, we've almost up. killed a player, and another player has gotten the stuff they wanted from their dreams. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll probably just after head over to Natalie to uh, just get my stuff. And he turns his camera off out of shame. Uh, no, right. it's not. It's not so, uh... When you head over, I'm going to presume a car usually would for everyone. Is that okay? Mm hmm. That mm -hmm. makes sense to me, but I'm checking with. Uh, I I think it does. He's not quite as lazy as the rest of us and doesn't drink as much usually. Bacon, yeah. you there? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, is a is a car usually waking up earlier than most of the other people? Everyone else is. Yeah, wake. he tries to wake up very early, like... It's kind of how I felt. Yep. I wake up the last. <laughs> okay. So yeah, in that case, uh, you'll be... Uh, Akar, you actually see Tyus just as you... Yeah, probably, you know, eating breakfast. What's up, Tyus? Oh, hold up. Uh, no, no, no. Tyus... Uh, he stays there for a while, so you'll meet him at Natalie. He just exits Natalie's door. Wait, so now we're at Natalie's? Yeah. Yes, you are always at Natalie's. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, I'm leaving Natalie's. No. No, a he car is leaving is... Natalie's. <laughs> for fuck's sake, Demi! You are outside coming in. Okay. Okay, I no, think... I'm just trying to understand because, like, you just mi mixed it up. Okay. So I'm just it's all good. To... Oh, hey there, car. Just uh, keep you... walking. Bacon, just keep walking. You know it's yeah, the right he just... thing to... He just say hi, waves, and continues going back to the young. I, I was gonna ask if you boss. Uh, uh, he's already... Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, I just enter. Natalie seems to be just getting set on the uh, item, sees you. Oh, hey, Tyus. Here, give me just a second. Yeah. Uh, she goes down yeah. on her desk. All uh, right. Here you go. She puts down uh, on the top. It looks like a flask. It's beautiful. Well, uh, yeah, I already paid. Yeah. Um, thank you once again, Natalie. If I get any more idiotic ideas, I'll be back. Okay. And uh, then I skedaddle out. And when I'm outside, I'm going to swirl it. Is it already full? Do you want it to be full? Yes. You say a command word. That's how oh, it works. Hmm. What command word would it be? Usually it comes with the magic item, but because you requested it and it's a custom one, you could have de designated it yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm thinking. Like, what, what, what command do I give it to make water? Well, actually, depending on what I want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the command word. Water. <laughs> water, wine, or ale. Easy clap. So I'm just gonna go water. Get normal water. Smell it a bit. Test it for God DNA to see if it's real. 
Yeah, like, sm sm like smell it, swirl it around, you know, like acting as if it's wine. <laughs> and then, uh, alley -oop. Do you order this disgusting animal? <laughs> you gotta drink water. <laughs> holy water. You just, you just said water. I'm presuming you do something else for holy water. Oh. Well, I thought <laughs> everything was holy. That's why. You get to designate it either way. <laughs> Okay, uh, in that case, I mean, that's the thing, I thought it was automatically old holy, so, um, yeah, if it was holy water, then, oh, holy water. Just say holy water. Yeah, yuck. <laughs> you taste it, it tastes like holy water! A little bit of soap, hints of some kind of perfume. <laughs> <laughs> you know that feeling, yes, that we just go like, it's metallic. It's almost like it's from a flask. Why <laughs> because of the silver shaving? I think Jackalore is dying over there. I taste it? Yeah, this water has taste. I like it. God fucking damn it. Well, uh, since I can do it three times a day. As I'm walking back, right? Actually, since we don't have anything really in plan, uh, I'm gonna be walking all the way down to the docks and have myself a merry old time while finishing the flask of holy water. Okay. Time make a to the docks, has a merry time. Demi, and make a fortitude is... save versus this <laughs> versus disease. Uh, I'm actually level three paladin, and I can't get diseased, uh -huh. magical, or mundane. You lucky son of a bitch, good thing you have that. <laughs> but yeah, in that case, I'll go back to a car. A car, you get back. The only person there is Morris, who smells rather floral now, actually. Just go to him. Oh, what's up, Morris? Did you take a bath or something? Yes, it was quite the excellent bath. Um, what happened? I took a bath. Boris, why did you took a bath? Because the, I ended up in a crematorium and there were bodies there. They were burning. Um, I, 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 I think I don't want to know. It's for the best if you don't, yes. I mean, if, if I, I, would the, uh, got uh, the boss of ST Slayer, uh, what is their opinion on desecrating corpses? Um, don't give a shit, I don't think. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Um, yeah. Just... okay. Okay, uh -huh. I thought you were on your road to... Uh... I was not desecrating corpses, no. If you say so, uh, I think I will ask something from... to it from Thorn. And he sits on another table, looking worried at you. <laughs> well, Doran is all right there, and it's not actually really all that busy. I do count. But, uh... But surely there are more people in here, since apparently his rivals are poisoning people. No, it's not that busy today. Bacon, you did get a fancy new poison. <laughs> I'm not going to use the poison. You're gonna now hold it close to your chest? chest. Yes. You should poison Doran and get him the contract. 
No, yeah, why would they do that? Why, but why would they do that? Just storing knowledge of random stuff is more useful. Sweet. Yeah, as uh, so he looks up. Oh, hey, a car. How's things going? Yeah. Still alive? Fine. Yeah. Actually, in the last fight against a horrible monster, almost everyone died, but I, won't if, I wasn't even touched. You did a great job, son. You did a great job. It's because you were a fucking coward, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I am the rogue and assassin. Honestly, you need like a belt of returning or whatever it's called so you can throw that on the dagger at range. It's a good idea. But, uh, eh, it, it was fine. I also uh, went to uh, buy a new alchemy lab and Natalie showed me hers and it was amazing. So, what a happy day. Yeah, I yeah. have a great time. Yeah, Solar yeah. is usually pretty grand. At least if you can survive it. Yeah, I think that it should be easier if you don't go to the sewer like we do, and don't piss, uh, don't get involved with uh, the Titan spawn, and don't ang anger the hold of the Orc tribes and their diplomat. I think hey, that my group is... Whatever happens, as long as you live through it, you're set in golden. Yeah, yeah. I, oh my I think fucking so. god, he has Dice's philosophy run! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, just give me something to eat. Alright, what are you feeling like? Whatever you want, I trust you. Some of that ketchup soup. Alright! <laughs> I'm gonna kill him one day. I swear it. <laughs> Catch a fucking soup. <laughs> why does this piss me off so much? I no, I understand exactly why he's fucking calling a kitchen soup. Catch up soup. You <laughs> You know Who exactly that? that that's what it is. If you don't want Watson, you piece of shit. It's a fucking tomato soup. Fucking hibiscus, you piece of shit. Who called that tomato soup a ketchup soup? I did out of character. <laughs> He's oh. still pissed at me. That, that's harsh. Tender grilled pork and board cooked in pretty high In a tender ketchup a sauce. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I you and your food fetish. <laughs> I will start unloading him with shit. He has some Ruben pork and I eat a pie with it. Don't anger TGM. <laughs> Give some black hook spirits along with it. There you drink. Which, in case you don't remember, that was actually the... that was the caramel. That was the caramel yeah. drink. Yeah. Oh yeah, tea. very sweet. sweet. Yeah, that yeah, car is going to eat and wait for something to happen. Maybe to Zaskar appear? Where is he? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> All right. So, uh, there. Uh, I guess that means, Loris, what do you want to do? Me? Yeah. He wants to act. While he's doing uh, that, I suppose I'll go off to Tyus. Okay. No, I was thinking... I... I think I volunteer at the uh, uh, temple to Madriel. Okay. I'm not sure the doors of the temple don't burn you as you try to walk in. No, 
He's trying to be good. And that is acceptable. <laughs> That's what the Redeemer is all about. But every time it's a gamble when you touch that doorknob. <laughs> every time. Okay, so yes, well, he's just busy helping out over there. Tyus, what do you want to do? I mean, I went down to the docks to basically, you know, continue um, improving relations, learning, blah, blah, overhearing maybe some rumors at times, being a lovely chap. Also You're drinking. A very lovely chap. Trying to learn about people, you know? It's a good thing to try and learn. Never know when such a skill will be up. Not trying to shove Idra in their face yet. Only do that in the bedroom. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you want, go ahead and make me a roll real quick. Uh, what do you want? Diplomacy? Bluff? I was doing gather information. Sure. Yee. Makes no sense. Good fucking job, man. All right. So you get to know the people very well, actually. Yeah, apparently, there's a bit of a celebration going on over. There. Uh, other than that, um, things seem pretty good overall. In uh, uh, why the celebration? Is there some kind of festival, holiday? What is going? On? No, they're just opening a new attraction over there. Cool. <laughs> How actually, much? Not too much else, and you shouldn't. I would actually like to uh, pertain one thing. Sure. What? How much does one of those like moving stand carts cost? Moving stands. Yes. Do you have a picture you can show me so I can really know what you're talking about? I think I know what you're trying to say, but... Man, this, man Google just does not help you in the time you need. Um, okay, so imagine, like, you know, one of those stands, right? Like, let's say you're at uh, some kind of festival stands, you know, littered around, right? Mm -hmm. That, but they have wheels so you can move them. Oh, food stands? Yes, like yeah, essentially, <laughs> moving stands. I realized on a good way how to get good, how, how to use my skills and also learn about the people and also make Okay. I'm opening up a food stand when I'm free. I <laughs> do it. Oh, fuck yeah. It's ingenious. Everyone is finding their hobbies. Boris still has to one off doing shit and plussing everything that he sees. I mean, we have blacksmith in making, we have cook lust fanatic, or whatever the fuck I am at this point. Yeah, it will. I will increase slightly, so it makes more sense to come with like food slots and everything. Uh, 30 gold. That's cheap. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one, and I'm gonna bring it home first. I'm not opening up instantaneously, of course. Of course, you need to get some ingredients. Need ingredients to get and stuff, and yeah. I have to prepare a, a menu. Bit of fire. Yep. <laughs> it's. No, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna fucking make a menu out of character and bring it fucking in. I'm gonna have at least four items that I'm gonna sell. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. I think this gonna... is actually about the time we're supposed to be ending. Yeah, it's actually five till nine my time. That's when we end. Yep. Okay. I suppose that right after he buys his uh cart. <laughs> you just you see Tyus. If anybody's at home, you just see Tyus. You just kind of give it a car. And it's like, so I bought this, right? <laughs> Next time, everyone needs to f try and find Zaskar.
He may be in a dungeon for now. Who knows? See, if I hear about that, I'm going to be very conflicted. <laughs> okay, I, I need to find him. I'm going to give him the proposition of both of us sharing a, a room in Natalie's place. <laughs> Fuck the whole, uh, let's live on the guild place. Let's live with the crafter. All right, so in that case, fade to black as just ending with a happy look on Ty's face, wandering around with his new food cart. <gasps> I, uh, yes. I'm making tea. <laughs> All right. Actually, it can be a, a, a herpes epidemic. It can be a selling point. You can say that the food is cooked with holy water. I don't have enough holy water for now. I mean, that's why I have you, to, you know, specialize. You can do a total of 36 ounces per day of holy water. You don't Man, need to... Let me holy, let me convert that. Uh, it isn't that much, I would say, like... A, oh, a it's liter. a liter. Yeah. Yep. But you can probably dilute in regular water and cook the entire day with it. I mean, it's not a lie, you are cooking with holy water. It's homeopathic. The water rem <laughs> retains the memory of the holiness. Man, I just I just like to imagine, it's like, aw, he's buying holy water. <laughs> what are you doing with that water? Alright, so here's the XP reward for today. <laughs> I hope you know everyone had pretty good fun. That was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it, good. Yes, just enough to level up. Fucking paladin level four. Um, I'm over by twelve can't even use. points. I'm getting greater teleport and coming home, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I oh. can finally use spells okay. and turn undead, but I can't use spells until I buy an item. Re. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you have a food stand with holy water. That I do. Yeah. Uh, Chris, what do you think that Saskar would like to uh, also live with Natalie? I think Saskar's contemplation is going to range from okay, fine, you serve the goddess of chaos to okay, bitch, if this is the way it's going to be, you're dead. Based on where he wakes <laughs> up. Yeah. I'm gonna get Fate I mean, Spinner too. I can force someone to do a reroll once per day. Don't don't kill the high priestess. Uh that now I can she make... made her decision. It's out of my hands. <laughs> I think that just uh, let's see what level I get an extra feat. So I can make drugs faster for her. No, don't get me wrong. If it's all in good fun, that's fine. If he's in anti-magic shackles and sold into slavery, when he gets free, she's dead. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I suppose we should... If anyone wants to, we can see about uh, redoing a feat. Hmm. Yeah. Eighth level and sixteenth level are when we are training, and everyone is past eight. So, as that has actually happened at least once so far, you can choose to do so now. Can we apply that at the start of our next session? Yes. Okay. So everyone can think about that. If everyone's yeah. cool with rolling it that way. Totally. I feel like that's pretty decent. You can expect to have it happen one more time with these characters. Yeah. Or even another character. Uh, but one more time in play, probably. And... 
Well, if we go into epic levels, there's another one, theoretically, at 24. Theoretically. If we get that far, that'd be really cool, but then we're at epic levels, so... Hmm. Oh, what the fuck is Aishala doing? Like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Aishala does what Aishala does. Actually, yeah, that's a good question. He's protected from magical diseases, but is he protected from divine diseases? Technically? No. Oof. She is the very incarnation of everything sexual, including STDs, Demi. That's not how that works, but sure. <laughs> You did fuck her avatar. That's true. I'm leaving it to epic discretion. There's a decent chance one day he could. She doesn't mind. She's just gonna become more and more like Papa Nurgle the further this goes, Demi. Oh. She's the goddess of acceptance, Demi. Accept your love. Uh, actually, to be fair, she uh, is not actually much about, but she is about acceptance. For example, anytime she comes into an app, she leaves one aspect of her that is in some way counter to whatever someone considers beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you have an STD, like, like, Demi! You so have a fucking STD! <laughs> Little did you know that the deal you made to get your dick back is the one that will cost it. <laughs> cost you your dick well, I mean, head. yeah, I lost my anal virginity. <laughs> oh that oh is yeah, a... uh, because I became Paladin 4, by the way, I now have plus 17 fortitude as well. Fuck yeah. Divine Disease of DC is like 40. Oh, that reminds me. Nope, oh, level 14. We gain nothing. It's 15, though. Woohoo! I actually should right. probably do the level up stuff. So, Sorcerer. Spells known. At 14. I don't get any new spells except for the one seventh level one. Let me just double check that I have all my cantrips. I do. So spells. Actually. Let's do it this way. Uh, right. I should have, what, like, four level sevens at first? Something like that. Teleport greater. Classes as well. I need to apply that. Well, if we're done here. Mm hmm. Are we? We are. As far as I know. Cool. Good night, Jackalor. Oh, I'll be off. Good night, Jackalor. Bye. Spells per day. So at 14th, I get that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the only one that I feel like... I, I don't know if I should change this one. And the only feed that I have is uh, Persuasive. But I don't, I don't know if I should remove it Because it does give me some nice bonuses. But I, I don't deal, know. Man. Mm, it's just an option for those of us who feel regrets. 
if any. Yeah. I could. Now that I learned that I can take this new fancy crafting sheet, uh, get rid of improved weapon fighting, or something like run. But no, I think I'm fine with what I have. Okay. Don't worry, you'll get it soon enough. Mm, okay, nice. And then that just leaves my skill okay. points. Which means that one goes there. No. No, I had 16 in there first, and I should have 7. Actually, something interesting, I can exchange the is life fortune for another lucky feat because with make your own luck i can reroll any skill check as long as i already have a lucky feat and mm -hmm. i can take the one for uh re-rolling re uh wheel uh and reflex and stuff saving throw yeah Check it. Just double check that but if I get the one for uh, the saving throws, would I be able to spend both of my rerolls on skills, like I do now, or yeah. would it be separate? Okay. You can still do it on skills. Okay, I we know that's a bad idea because I need to save one rank for upping perform to five as well. There we go. There's only two things that I might see about maybe replacing a persuasive, and that might be uh, getting cleave. Because with me, I think cleave makes a lot of sense. Considering the amount of times I've also basically just pushed through a fucking crowd. Hmm, it's not a bad idea. Wait, wait. Huh. There's this uh, lucky feat. If you roll a natural one when making an attack, you can spend one luck reroll as a swift action to instead treat the roll as a natural 20. You would have to replace something else because that requires two luck reroll. Yeah. Uh, Where's two? Let's see, if I can. Well, keep in mind, if any of you fuck up badly enough in line of sight of me, I do have one reroll I can force on friend or enemy once per day. No, I think I'm the one, only one that I could consider removing is run, but. It's still very useful to be able to super run. So, uh, I'm going to leave it for later. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick up Cleave instead of uh, Persuasive then. Okay. Go right ahead. I'm surprised that you didn't bother with tempting fate, actually. At what? Uh, a car. I'm surprised Bacon didn't go for tempting fate. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, Masterwork Arts and Tools provide plus two bonus, so what Natalie gave me would be a plus four when I'm actually using the tools. I don't know if I added it. Don't think I did. But it was just a generic Grandmaster uh, Smith set. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Um, is there like a thing I should drag in? Is there like an item in the inventory? I don't think there's a Smith set. Tools. Tool. Uh -uh. 
Okay. If I am um, going to do a feed retraining, uh, could I, for example, get rid of Sly Fortune, but the make your your own luck feed requires me to have another luck feed. So could I do that? I get rid of the luck feed, or I would lose the other feed. You would lose the other one and you had to rage it. But if I take another luck feed, another one that requires another, could I make this loophole that ones need another to be functional? Theoretically, by raw, this would work, but I want to make sure it's okay party, if that's the case. What's he trying to min-max? He's trying to... Basically, the way this would usually work is that if he somehow lost a feat, it just becomes disabled. He gets the request, pre-request it's back on. So he has... He wants to make it so one luck feat that, has, that requires at least one luck feat to be active. And then take another one that requires any as well. Dead. The problem is, I actually... The only real issue with this rules as written is taking that second one wouldn't be able to be done without at least but that one active. sounds really fucky to me, because if they both yeah. require at least one to yep. be present and he's trying to turn it into a circular thing, that's kind of... I don't like that. Yep, don't worry about it then. I just wanted to check with you guys. Uh, but uh, um, the re-roll saving throws is a level 2 luck feat, so I can't get it. I can change my generic one for initiative check, because initiative isn't a skill, so... I think it's smart to do that. Replace life fortune for lucky start. Epic, how much did those metals weigh? Like, what was it, eight? Eight pounds? Or? I think I just compared them to regular tools and eight, yeah. I have a question of, um, how does Turn Undead yep. work now? What's that? How does Turn Undead work? It will work jack shit for you most of the time. I mean, okay, I'm just asking, how does it... In I think it's, it's made yeah. based on the total amount of HD you're trying to turn or something like that, and it scales. It depends on your charisma modifier, your cleric level, effectiveness, which as a paladin, if I remember right, you take a penalty to that. I think it's like paladin minus three, from what I think I read up. So you can turn one all six zombie. Easy. Just, turn. just cast great sword. It'll work better. I, I mean, I know. It's just I'm uh, asking turn. Because technically I can... Yeah. Be... So you do it as a cleric three levels lower than your paladin level. Which is level one. You can do this three plus your charisma mod per day. I'll be able to get do turn undead seven times at fifth level. Well, no, actually, when I get my charisma up at uh, 16. Easy. So, whenever you do a turn check, you actually do a level check, basically. It's a d20. Depending on what you get, it goes up, goes down, stuff of that nature. So, okay, for example, what would happen if I got 18? What does that 18? Yeah, 18, you would be doing it as a cleric level 3. And in doing so, as... Just to make sure, you're generally... Wouldn't it be cler cleric level 1 if it's Good. minus 3 for Paladin? He does it at level, but it adds 3... It adds 2 to it with an 18. Oh, I see. Turning check results. So if I get an 18, it's uh, cleric's level plus 2. Then minus 3 is cleric's level minus 1. Yes. So maximum hit dice. Is Although I do need to ask you a question then. Are you? Did you roll an 18 or did you roll an 8 charisma mod? Oh, no, no, no. Just 18, like, total. Yep, 18 total is plus 2. Okay. 
So you do it as if, it, you know, cleric level three. It would then go on to turning damage, which would be like 2d6 plus your level plus your charisma modifier. And that's how many total hit dice of undead you can turn. Oh, okay. I Usually, this just ends, especially with how low your level is, this will end up just having causing them to flee. Hmm. And if they cannot flee, they cower, giving any attack rolls to, against them, plus two bonus. Got it. Uh, I'll learn when, once I start, you know, actually using it. Just one okay. more. that, if you manage to somehow get a plus three to it, which is 19, 20, 21, which is doable, or 22 and higher, Technically you doable. can do, end up doing it to the point that you can kill some undead. Nice. It's not, I mean, obviously I'm not, you know, specialized as cleric or paladin, so I'm not going to be, my turn undead is obviously not strong, but it's something. Yep. There is a reason that undead versus a cleric is generally considered um, a bit of a no-show. Oh, yeah. Good thing we have none of those. Well. You yes. almost did at one point. He died, though. We don't talk about that one. Uh, so yeah, I changed uh, Slight Fortune for Lucky Start. Now I can okay. re-roll my initiative. Wait, wait. So now I don't have a useless feat. I'm just happy that I finally have Cleave, which means roleplay-wise, I can actually cleave through people and hit another bitch, which Literally. I really, really... But that's only if you... Is that only if you kill? kill. Or if you succeed? That is when he kills them. But... It's yeah, good, now good you form. are a low-level barbarian, yeah, having it's, the it's, most it's, basic it's, barbarian skill. It's really good for things that are mobbing on you, and that's what I like. Because what I want to do is slash through 20 goblins. <laughs> you need greater cleave to do that many. <laughs> you know, well, I, mean, I'm, well, I might take... need to just take selective spell instead of spell penetration, so I can eat a lightning bolt in a crowd while you tank, without hitting you. But I do want haste. Haste is really good. Like, if I can do another full attack at my biggest bonus... Whew, it's it's especially not a, it's a single attack. It's not a second full attack. It's a single attack. Yeah, yeah. It's a, But you have to full attack to get the single attack. Yes. But yeah, me hitting three times at plus 20, plus 20, plus 15, essentially, is it, pretty fucking nice. It's just... With some of the bigger things we fight... Something like unlock would be better because only two of us really benefit from the haste that much. I don't really see. Here's the thing the problem what I see with unlock on the bigger stuff is that it, a lot of times, it, I mean, for a lot of the saves, it'll matter, right? But like on other points, it won't because it has a plus 25. Of two, I can cast this as a level uh, seven. Plus with spin, I have a decent chance of getting it through. Mm. Now, does unlock only last for like one round or like the entire time? It's rounds level, so until the fight yeah. is over, I think. If it was only once per round, yeah, it would suck immensely, but I, it was longer than that. Spells, unlock. And the thing is, that also fucks its saves going further i think yeah that's the thing like the saves is the most important things but something like denying hits oh like... specifically whenever any die rolls made for the creature including attack rolls damage rolls and saving throws so it fucks up everything for them i'm not i mean i'm not saying it's not going to be useful it's just at some points maybe not like, for example, for the attack rolls and stuff, I don't see it being that useful. It's Honestly, gonna hit a bitch. you're better off taking the boots of haste, because those can be activated instantly, I think. Yeah, as a free action. That's why I was looking at them, but uh, I bought bathwater. Yeah, I'm... Damn. 
let me take a look. What do I not want from this stuff? Actually, I might trade out Summon Monster 5 because those bears in the last fight, they disappointed me. No, like, no. The thing is, like, no, they no, just weren't I'll, against that enemy. Yeah, I'll still use Summon Monsters. I'll just, next level up, I'm going to pick up a higher level version. Oh, yeah, that. Pick a higher level version. That like, you summoning monsters is actually really, really useful. Like, imagine if that entire orc fight, like, where and you summoned five of them. Problem is that they only appear in the next turn. Once I get my next level up, I'm gonna have a level six uh, spell slot that will allow me to shorten the casting of all my spells. Nice. Which. It does mean that I won't have undeath to death, like ever, but that's cheesy anyway and unfun, so fuck that one. <laughs> Maybe I should keep Summon Monster and trade it out at like 6 or 16. I like level, I like Summon Monster. Yeah, maybe not spend some levels entirely without summoning. So I'll trade out haste instead, booyah. Epic. Yeah. Let me show you a spell that I would like to trade in for haste. As is my birthright. Oh, yeah, the unlock. You wish unlock upon enemies. How could you do such a thing? I mean, I'm a fate spinner. Sense. Fuck everything in my path. It does make sense for a fate spirit to make other people's fate. No, no, no it makes perfect sense. I love I especially love the fact that uh, this kind of ends up being kind of usable even for just roleplay purposes. It's a, oh, yeah. so, especially with it. spill and oh, still and silent being. Yeah. I mean, yes. Now we can cheat on drinking competitions even more. I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to set up the spell because there's a uh, like all the saving stuff and it how you want to apply it, etc. But... Yep, yep, yep. Two seconds. I'll set. <sighs> and yeah, um, everyone feel free to say goodbye to the uh, stream. I think we've discussed any everything anyway, so... Goodbye, stream. Goodbye, five people that watched. Mm.